Honestly, I thought we were done with discussing Tamar Braxton and her relationship with the Banya Yang Yang man. Well, apparently not. During their breakup, Tamar apparently got into a fit of rage, allegedly, and started texting her co-worker, Jesse Wu, about Jesse Wu's friend possibly hitting on her then ex-fiance. What in the... Welcome back to the Campari Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So, shame on me. I don't know. I probably need to stop giving people too much grace or thinking maybe she's finally changed and she's matured at her big grown age of 40-something. And I'm not age shaming. I'm just saying, I really thought that Tamar has grown. You know, ever since the breakup with Bang and Yang Gang Man, I like the way she handled it. She didn't get messy. She didn't get into the dirt. But apparently she doesn't get into the dirt when it comes to him specifically. She will get into the dirt when it comes to other black women. So you know the last video that we did on Tamar Braxton, or one of the many last videos that we did on Tamar Braxton, because the last video that we did was about the Krishan Rock situation. Well, before that, we, we covered that whole scenario with her and Tommy and how I told you Tommy ethered her in, in that video. Okay. Well, apparently, even before Tommy, Jesse Wu's friend allegedly had flirted with JR at some sort of event, an event that was supposed to be celebrating black women. Because I guess JR is wherever black women are. So Jesse has covered and talked about, about him on her YouTube channel. And she says in this new video that she posted over the weekend, she says that Tamar saw it. Tamar was like, yeah, 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 girl, get him. According to her. Because I guess, you know, they were broken up. So Tamar really didn't care. She, she, she wanted someone to say something about him. So Jesse says that in some of her videos, she did say that some of what his behavior gave racism. And when she breaks it down in this latest video, I was like, you know what? There seems to be a pattern here when it comes to JR. He seems to like to see black women fight over him. But I was a little bit more shocked by the text messages that Jesse Wu posted on her YouTube channel. As always, what do we do here? We cite our sources. I'll cite Jesse's full video in the description. First of all, Jesse's very entertaining. <laughs> just the video alone, I was just like this. I was. I was just like, I was so engaged. And I've seen some of her videos before in regards to her uh, reality TV recaps. Very interesting woman. Very talented, very beautiful too. And I have to say, based off of past behavior, I can only believe Jesse Wu because everything that Jesse is saying, really, for me, it's like, well, sounds about Tamar. Sounds about Tamar. But I will tell you this. One of the things that really did shock me is the level of anger and threats that she made to Jesse Wu about Jesse Wu's friend and about deleting Jesse Wu's friend. You better get your motherfucking friend. Get your motherfucking friend. Your motherfucking friend is about to get her fucking ass whooped. Yeah, he not my nigga right now, but he's still my nigga. Even though we're not together, he's still my nigga. Okay, she knows he's my nigga and I will her up. I'm from Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore. And I'm just like, I'm just sitting there like, what, what is, what is happening? Like, what's going on? I'm like, Tamar, calm down, calm down. She hangs up. So I call her back. I'm like, what is going on? No, 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 no. Get your fucking friend. Get your fucking friend. Get your fucking friend. I'm like, what is going on? So she says my friend's name and we're just going to say Rosa. Cause between y'all and me, Cause between me and y'all, my friend is gonna know this story through this video. I never brought this to my friend's attention. I look, we've seen Tamar get angry and do things on her reality show. I don't think we've ever seen Tamar at this level of anger or make these types of threats. It should be noted that Jesse Wu and Tamar are co-workers at Dish Nation. So these level of threats could have gotten Tamar fired. Let's be honest. 
And to be honest with you, the fact that Jesse Wu has posted this on her YouTube channel, all it takes is for Destination to see this and say, based off of what we see in these text messages, if Jesse still has these text messages in her phone, which I'm assuming that she does, Tamar, we have to terminate your position here. Was it worth it over Bang a Yang Yang Man? If you enjoy hot topics, reality TV, reality TV news, don't miss out on the Kempire After Dark Tour. We are coming to a city near you, but first up, January 25th, we will be in New York City talking kitchen table talk and so much more. And February 16th, Washington, D.C., you're right up after that. We're going to continue having these conversations specific to whatever's going on in the moment. Get your tickets for the Kempire After Dark Tour in the description of this video. So according to Jesse, again, I will cite my sources so you can see the full chronology of how this all played out because Jesse is explaining to a lot of people that have been asking, Tamar unfollows you, Tamar unfollows you. She has now since unfollowed Tamar because she didn't even realize Tamar unfollowed her. So she basically says she gets a phone call randomly as she's sitting in the airport lounge from Tamar going off, going off about her friend. She says at the time of her recording the video, she hadn't even brought this to her friend's attention. Her friend was going to find out about this from this video. By the end of the video, she says, I stopped the video I, I, and I, I, I you know, brought this to my friend. But she says her friend is actually in a, 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 a loving relationship right now a, a, with a well-known person. And she's saying, that didn't happen. So is the Bing and Yang Yang man trying to cause trouble? Sounds like it. But let me just get into these text messages first. So allegedly, I'll say, but I believe Jesse, I'm just saying. Tamar was sending her these text messages when she, um, when she originally called Jesse in regards to her friend. Saying, your homegirl tried to talk to JR last night. I will personally K that B word. All right? She, sa she says, I don't play these Atlanta games. Uh-oh, Baltimore. Everyone stay blessed. So Jesse responds says, wait, what is going on? What is happening? Oh, poor Jesse. Woo, 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 Je oh, woo, 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 Jesse. Oh, you don't even know what's happening. Tamar says, ask your brown-skinned friend. I'll never, uh, wait, I'll have her head. Any day. Don't play with me. I'm so serious. Let me find her name. I don't I do not do this fake ass Atlanta-ish. Don't play in my effing face like that. This is when I get real serious. That's what your friend said to him last night. Tamar, call me back. I don't even F with, with her like that. Her friend. Probably an associate. All right? So in another text message, she says, Tamar says, I'm so serious. Uh, let me find her name. I don't do this fake Fake ass Atlanta ish. Don't play in my effing face like that. When I get real serious, that's what your friend said to him last night. So she, as I said before, Ta um, Jesse says, Tamar, call me back. I don't f with the, with with her like that. Call me when you when you can. Hold on. Then she says again, I will kill that b word. Y'all will find her. Jesse says, says call me. Jesse's probably trying to give you a lot of grace here, Tamar, that you shouldn't be saying these types of things on text message. Tamar says, I need a minute. I'm not these Atlanta B words. I'm not. I stay to myself to keep from this ish and to stay out of jail. Mind you, at the time of this text message, allegedly, Tamar is not even with Bang Yang 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 Man. They had broken up. He had publicly embarrassed her. Remember that? We covered all of it. If you miss any of it, just Google Schmoogle. So in another text message screenshot, she posts Jesse. Jesse says, I understand, but I want you to just calm down for a moment. I don't even talk to that girl like that. She says, yeah, well. And she says, what the F did she say to say to JR? Tamar says, she tried to talk to him on some F me ish. She don't know me. She your friend. The F? First of all, how did Tamar find out about this? Did JR go to her? You know, Jesse Wu's friend trying to holler at me. So uh, apparently they were still in communication. So Tamar says, yeah, she your friend, not mine. Jesse responds, that's effed up. Tamar then says, what's up? I'll hurt that B word and her mama. Why her mama? And then she says, oh my Jesus, not Jesus. Uh-uh, uh-uh. 
and send her what I'm saying. Tamar is is giving this level of energy over banging Yang Yang Man. Damn. Times are hard out here for a pimp. Really? Is this what we are doing over banging Yang Yang Man? And this is what, what Jessie Wu says in her video. She's just like, I don't understand. I don't get what she's doing. I don't get why she's saying this. But this is why Tamar and I do not get along. She gives a whole history of yeah, we were good. You know, we worked together, blah, 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 blah. She saw my videos and she said, normally if, if she had given me any sort of backlash or, you know, like, I don't like what you're saying about them, she probably would have adjusted her videos. But she said Tamar was fully supportive of her videos, talking about banging Yang Yang Man at the time. She then says, Tamar almost tries to set her up. Her saying, I'm not going to say what I caught her saying, because that's going to cause a whole other but i caught her saying some weird sh and she followed it up with hey so what are you doing and i'm like oh you know i'm about to go meet with some folks that i work at you know from bt and i want digital we're about to go have happy hours she's like oh well come with me to this holiday party i'm like oh whose holiday party is it she's like oh no just i mean it's, it's somebody that we know just come with us to this holiday party i was like well i'm gonna go to this dinner and she's like, no but come you could come come after the dinner how long is the dinner gonna be I was like, okay, just send me the information. She doesn't send me the information. But I looked up, and it was Jiminy Cricket's holiday party. It's like you're fishing. You're fishing for an issue. Like, you're fishing for an issue. She, she doesn't say. There's something that happened that she didn't mention that she overheard Tamar saying, and she said it was some weird-ish. Oh, God. But then Tamar tried to invite her to some sort of Christmas party. And she was like, oh, where is it? Who, you know, who, what event is it? And Tamar didn't want to say what it was. Jesse then alleges that she finds out it's JR's uh, Christmas party. So Tamar was, what, trying to do to, to Jesse? Jesse, girl, stay away from her. I fell for it, too. I thought Tamar had grown and evolved. Apparently, Tamar, at her big age, is never going to change. She's never going to evolve. But this is a mess. You guys hit me up and told me I need to get into it. You all have been DMing me. We went live on IG. You all said, Kim, why you need to talk about this? Well, there's your update. <laughs> there's your... Really, Tamar? All of this over banging Yang Yang Man. You're threatening people. You're putting yourself at risk to going to the... <laughs> over banging Yang Yang Man. And you weren't even with him at the time. Mad at this other woman that already has another man. As always, guys, I want to know your thoughts and opinions. You can, you can shame me in the comments. Kempire, you really thought that Tamar had changed? Shame on you. Okay, fine. Guys, let's continue this conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. You bring the lighter, I got the fuse. You make a fire, I'll ask you, follow my lead.